See, the only thing I'm worried about is it just slipping down into that tree at that first movement. Yeah. So we are in the woods just outside of Sisters, Oregon. Uh, we got the whole family in town this weekend and we were all gonna go uh, exploring a little farther to the south in the woods, but this call came in for a sprinter van that uh, slipped off the side of the road. So we decided to come up here, get them pulled out, and then we'll do a little exploring uh, a little farther up north. Ready to go? Ready, let's do it. Let's roll. So we had a big windstorm last night and the day before and a bunch of trees came down. Forest Service came up and cleared a bunch. Uh, that's how this guy ended up stuck as a tree was down and he tried going around it and just got too close to the edge. Well, I guess they didn't clear all the trees. That is where we need to go. Can we ram it? <laughs> all right, so we're only two miles from where we need to get to and I don't want to drive 10, 15 miles back all the way around so I think we're just gonna pull it out of the road instead. I don't have my chainsaw with me because I'm not very good at this, but uh, I think we can pull it out of the road. Just uh, if you hear trees cracking, make sure it's not another one coming down. Yeah. This is my father-in-law, Luis. Hello. He's going to recovery school today. Yeah. All right, let's see what happens. Well, I was hoping it'd break right there in the middle, but I think I'll back up and pull it over then. Okay, now I'll see if I can move that one. Watch out for all the pitch on this one, might be. There we go. Perfect. You're lucky that doesn't have a Got shackle it. on it. <laughs> <laughs> My camera might be shaking because I'm freezing. Don't worry, it's got good stabilization. I was gonna say, because I have been shaking the whole time. <laughs> All right, up the hill we go. Okay, we made it a whole hundred yards. We get to do it again. Dude, this one, this one uh, came out of the ground. It didn't break off. But it was dead, so it just exploded when it hit. It is windy. All right, that's good. Let's go. All right, another one down, but somebody cut this one. Oh, this looks like it's been down a while. That's an old cut. Oh, look at quite a bit more up there. So this is an area a big fire came through and mm -hmm. killed a lot of trees and destabilized the soil so then when the wind blows lots of trees come down. I see why the guy went off the road trying to get around a tree. Yes. <clears throat> Obstacle course. Yeah this is well this one's older. That looks brand new. Fresh. He's right there. Like right there we're right here. We just got one more, I'm just gonna go. Oh, oh, you see that one? There's two more up there. <laughs> Those are small, it. we can do this. You jinxed it. It'll be fine. Once the wind stops, it's not as freezing, at least. No, coming at you. You wanna just drive up there? I'll go pull those ones out of the way. Just watch out, because if it rolls off of that one up there, it might slam to the ground. Yep. 
next day. Come on up. Are you enjoying your snacks? If we rescue the guy, what are we gonna have to celebrate? All right. Okay, you hop back in. Here, I'll take that. You're gonna pull this one out of the road. Just watch out, because this one, since it's gonna bind up and those trees might snap and break. So, go ahead and head back. Go back easy. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, it's gonna pull that whole tree out of there. Yep, just like that. Now turn all the way towards me, because you're gonna pull your front end over. Keep going. A little more. All right, that's good. Pull forward a couple feet. Perfect, right there. We got hot chocolate for later. You can drive the rest of the way. Okay. Ryan, what's Grandpa doing? <laughs> He's about to get wet. He wants to find the waterfall. He's so funny. <laughs> water yeah, clean water. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have waterfalls in no. LA. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. I found the waterfall. <laughs> so our original plan today was to go down and find a waterfall and then we were gonna come do this recovery instead, but he found Make a little sure it's close so we can Let me go check out this waterfall. There's your waterfall. Yes. And he told you I'd take you to a waterfall. Taste it. Oh you gotta cut it. <laughs> There you go. Here, hold it. <laughs> Dad drinking from fresh water. Cleaner than LA water. But you don't trust it? <laughs> you drink water in LA, but you're questioning this? Is it ice cold? Not as cold as I thought it would be. Oh. That's because that elk up there is peeing in the stream. <laughs> <laughs> we should actually break that spike off. Before it goes through a tire. Good job. Now just up to the next one that's down in the road. How many did we, they move Riley? I, I lost count. Did you count? I uh, know. <laughs> now I know why he likes coming out here all the time to save people. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> So it looks like they aren't here yet. This guy got stuck yesterday, I believe. Got back into Cicero, was getting a ride back up. I don't know if all this stuff came down last night, and maybe now they're going way around the long way to get here. We'll see, but we'll take a look and figure out what we want to do. Okay, so you're just trying to get around this tree. Oh wow, look how soft it is. Yep. Look at this tire just sunk. Yeah, he so it looked out. like he was on good gravel, but the... look how close it is to the tree right there. We got to watch that. Yeah, and that rear tire is lifted up again. So look, you would think you're on good gravel, but there's nothing under it apparently. And it's soft under there. Well, I think as soon, if we go forward six inches, we're past that tree. Yeah. So if we can get it going that way without sliding that way, mm -hmm. yeah. I think we'll be okay. Oh, look how soft the road is even right here. 
Oh, there they are, just in time. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to wait for very long? No, we would have, but we had to take 10 trees out of the road to get yeah, here. Yeah, we had to clear some too. We were hoping you came the same way we went. But. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? I'm Devin. Casey, nice so is your van? You. Yes. Nice. Nice to finally meet you. Yeah, in Ryan. person. Yes, <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. So You're when on. did this happen? Yesterday. Yesterday, and then you got back into Sisters? Yeah, it was a windstorm. So, we were camped out at um, the trailhead, basically, and we were like, kind of hanging out, and then just started hearing trees falling, so we were like, we gotta beat feet back. And were, I were all these trees down yesterday when you went down? Not all of them. So all that happened last night? Yeah. And the Forest Service had to come out and pick us up and take us back into town, so. <laughs> yeah, we, we pulled quite a few out. So, what I'm kind of thinking, because I don't, you're clear of that tree right now by not much. Yeah. I'm thinking if we put one of those max tracks right up in front of that tire. Yeah. Uh, so that as soon as we start to come forward, it doesn't try to shift over and hit that. Okay. Um, Sounds good. And then I just pull you that way. I think you'll come up out of here easy. The only thing I'm worried about is it just slipping down into that tree at that first movement. Yeah. So if we stick a good max tracks there, hopefully that'll help. We'll Should I dig it off? Or We'll just dig a little so yeah. we can get it started in there. Okay. And then see what, what we can do. Hey, Ryan. How does a pine needle get in the car? Where's the pine needle? Right there. Oh, just when you're driving, sometimes they fly. I was kind of, when I looked at the picture, I wanted to come to it from the back, think there'd be something better to grab, but I think I'm glad I came from the front with the way it's actually sitting. You found my winch up, babe. Me? Yeah, totally you. Definitely your fault. Not mine at all. <laughs> it for sure wasn't for me pulling trees backwards. So if we had our fancy Yankum fair lead on here, when the synthetic line, line has buried itself in there, what you do is you like boat hitch it on that fair lead and then hit reverse and it, it solves this, but we don't have that, so... And why don't we have the Yankum? I don't know, Alan. Yeah, Alan. Why don't we have a Yankum fair lead on this truck? <laughs> you know he has multiple rigs, Alan. Help me out yeah. here. That's, that didn't work at all, did it? Oh, that might have done it. I don't know if that was my back popping in the winch, but <laughs> something just moved. There, there you go. go. Yeah, I just, we're going to make it so it's flat like this, not like that. Ah, gotcha. So if you can dig like oh, that. Wow. Because as soon as we start to go forward in that way, we're clear of that and then we're okay. I just don't want it to slip cool. downward before it clears that. Okay, so cool. if we can get it to sit nice flat, okay. just so until we get on it, then we're golden. Cool. I can do that. It's like, it doesn't look that bad, but it's also kind of bad at the same time. Like the deal. Soft shackle this ring in here. And then, Gauge this. Hey, Rai, watch out. Rai, go stand with Grandpa. Hold on. Go over there. There it is. Once we get over farther, I can reposition that a little better. You're just going to put it in neutral at first okay. so that I'm matter. pulling you forward because if you put it in drive and it tries to spin those wheels, that's what can let it slip to the side before we pass that tree. So we'll just do neutral at first Okay. and let me pull you up ahead a little. Okay, in neutral, parking brake off. Yep. Okay, just keep your wheel that way and... Okay, hit the brake, just your foot brake. All right, put it in drive and see if you can come forward about a foot.
keep going. Okay. I'm gonna back up a little. And then just leave it in drive. And when it gets tight, just let off the brake a little bit. Okay, stop there. Perfect. Now, roll, come forward a little. Okay, so you're on your own. That's good. Put it, put it in park. Woo. Yay! That is way softer over there than it looks. I'll go take a look. Oh, yeah. I thought, you know. <laughs> you turn your wheel that way. Okay. I thought it was hard enough to get past just a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> Were you driving at night or was it daytime it was yesterday? The day, yeah. yeah. It just started getting dark on me. Yeah. Which was rough. Look at this. <laughs> Did you do that? Yep. Hold that. So I tried to go back first. Um, so I put the max tracks under there and we were really pushing to go backwards, but it just wasn't grabbing and oh, I see um, my axle started dragging in the oh, middle. Oh, wow. Which wasn't good. So I was like, well, maybe we can just shoot past and yeah. kind of get over that. But then there, huh? Yeah. Got, oh, wow. Yeah, then I just started drooping more and more. <laughs> and I have a 25 gallon water tank on that side. Oh. So I was like, that's probably pulling me in. That's yeah, a little good. bit. So, <laughs> um, yeah, but, I'm glad yeah. we could meet up and help you out. Thank we, you so much. We just wanted to do a family day in the woods. We didn't care what we did. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, this just worked out. Yeah, well, exactly. You enjoy yourselves. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. scary <laughs> okay I will put this away back out of his way and he can drive forward on a little more solid ground you're awesome Casey yeah, case you know you know. <laughs> let's get it all the way on to the road <laughs> like don't jinx that, me that edge is way softer than oh my gosh I didn't yeah well once I pulled wow. him up and then had to have yeah. him move a little I thought he'd be fine and it just went yeah. Right back over. I was kind of yeah. surprised. It looks like solid gravel road over there. I would have drove on it. What'd you think, Ray? Did Daddy do a good job? Good job, huh? Yeah. Freezing cold water, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <Yeah. laughs> Another. Happy, successful, successful ending. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Should we pull that tree over yeah. so nobody else does that? Yeah. I was just... If not, I was going to cut it. I'm going to... You got a saw with you? Yeah, I got my chainsaw okay. up there. I'm yeah. probably going to spend some time and remove all the rest of the ones going this way. Okay. Yeah, yeah if we want to cut that and yeah. we'll pull that over while we're here because that looks like you can drive around it, mm -hmm. but yeah. clearly that's not Maybe the case. Get another pull. So, yeah, so let's go ahead and cut that. <laughs> I don't want someone else to come up and go, oh, look, there's tire tracks right around this one. You can totally right make it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can totally see how deceiving this is. This is way worse than it looks like it was. And that's just soft nothing right there. Well, look at the little stream right there, too. Yeah. It's all the water. Look how there's a big spring right here. You see how much water's coming down the hillside. That's why it's so soft. Go. Ah, there we go. had my business what over 10 years now you since started I started in my business yeah, yeah. big trucks and yeah yeah heavy. <laughs> as far as in the woods and getting stuck usually myself and pulling out and all that recoveries uh like my whole life <laughs> <laughs> but as a business whew, yeah <laughs> like 10 years well thank you so much no man. problem wow it was 
Glad we could help. <laughs> what do you think, Rye? Was that good? Yeah. You ready to get going? We'll go have some hot chocolate. <laughs> we said if we rescued you, we'd get hot chocolate. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're ready to roll. Couple days, right? Yeah. Should be here. Yeah. You ready, Rye? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Say goodbye. See ya. Bye, Riley. <laughs> you guys have a good one. Bye. Nice to meet you. No problem. All right, well, that went really good. We're celebrating with some hot chocolate down here, a little picnic spot in the woods. Uh, thank you, everyone, for helping out. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.